Welcome to EGTV Present Tech View, another episode. Today I'll discuss about an interesting subject, which is uh, Bicentral login issue. Recently, um, if your organization applied the Microsoft Windows patch on your Active Directory, there is an issue with uh, login in the base center with the uh, ID users. So a uh, login fail. It says invalid credential or invalid password, something like that. Uh, it's happened because uh, Microsoft enforced the Carver's policy. Uh, it's changed the Carver's policy. I'll show you actually what is enforced, but it happens when uh, your Active Directory, uh, sorry, your B Center is integrated with your uh, Active Directory, and those environment is affected with this uh, update patch. So how you can remediate this? That's what I'm gonna show you in this video. So if you are affected, then you can follow this guideline. Otherwise you don't need to do, okay? So I'll show you step by step. I'm going to share my screen uh, shortly. So this is my Active Directory. Like if you can look at here. So when I added, um, when I integrate my uh, vCenter server with Active Directory, it's created a computer object here. You see here vCenter, it's created a computer object. Uh, this is also my Active Directory. If you go here, you're gonna see this is the, this this is the Active Directory. So, this is the Active Directory. Actually, this is the computer object is created automatically and is is added with some because this is not a Windows based. This is appliance. That's why it's come up with some numbers. But maybe in use is gonna come up with exactly the uh, uh, your business server name. Anyway, so what you should do. So I'll show you actually what's happened, what's happened. So this is my AD admin account and I'm trying to log in my vCenter. And when I provide my password with this and I try to log in, it says invalid credential. So exactly what happens, this happens so there's, I will refer you in KV article here. If you look at this screen, uh, actually I open multiple screen here. Maybe you're gonna be confused, but this is my environment. So I just browse this KV article and I am referring this one, exactly this KV. So the issue is BM or BSphere, you're trying to log in, it says invalid credential. And what exactly Microsoft approach Microsoft will enforce application to use the more secure AES log algorithm for Kerberos encryption instead of uh, instead of the unsecure RC4 HMAC. So by default, a lot of the organization for their for their or in respect of their application, they use this Kerberos uh, encryption policy. But this is not secure. This is unsecure. So if your organization enforced with the GPU policy, in that case, you might affect it with this um, patch update. So, so Microsoft is enforcing actually using AES algorithm for Carver's encryption, not RC4 anymore. So that's why you will, maybe you're gonna have this kind of issues for logging with the AD credential, AD, AD user credential. So what do you have to do? So in this article, it is a guideline. So if you open the computer object from your ID and just you like uh, the computer object means your uh, appliance object, right? The appliance name, vCenter appliance. And you have to go to the attribute editors. So exactly same thing I'm going to show you here. Uh, this is my activity, users and computers. So if you don't have this one, you, you're not gonna get this, like say for example, computer object, right? So if you go here, go to the properties, you're not gonna see here, you're not gonna see here attributes editor, right? So how are you gonna see this? You have to go to the view options. If it's not enabled, you have to go there and then advanced feature, then you're gonna see it. So go to the computers again, select this one, computer object and go to the properties. And then you're gonna see here, it's a lot more options here. So attribute editors. And from there, just go down, 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 down. MS and just expand a little bit. 
then you will see clearly. Okay, MSDS here. MSDS hyphen supported encryption type. So this one is recommended to set. If you look at the KB article, it says set. The value is what? What the value? It says uh, set the value 24. See here. Just set that value 24. All right. So I'm going to put the value 24 here. Okay. Double click again. So I'm going to set the value 24 here and hit OK. Apply and OK. So you are set. You are set. And refresh it. Now go back to your vCenter. And this is a vCenter, right? So this is my Active Directory and just use my credential. Uh, now login. See, it's working now. So again, I'm telling you guys, if you have any issues, otherwise you don't need to go there, right? If you have issues with your logging with your ad users, you should follow this instruction. And that's all for today. Uh, thank you. Thanks for watching my video. And if my video helped you a little bit, at least give it give a big thumbs up. And also if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel and also share with your friends if it can help them. Thank you again for watching this video.